Hello, this is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. Today is December 14th, 2006. On a Wall Strip today, we're looking at not incorporated, symbol K-N-O-T. If I didn't know any better, I would have thought that you were uh, we were looking at a chart of Taser three years ago. This stock has had a phenomenal run from uh, just you know from below a dollar a share. It must have been adjusted for splits, I imagine. But from a dollar a share in late 2003, something happened that woke this cup. Uh, company up out of its coma and it's been pretty much straight up since then. The stock has been in just this beautiful uptrend, higher highs and higher lows, occasional little shakeouts down to the 200 day moving average in this case, but just these nice pushes higher followed by a pullback and another push higher. The stock is definitely something that, that isn't the right type of stock for a lot of people's personality because of the volatility in there. However, it's the right type of pers uh, stock if you like money, and this has been a great place to make it. So right now, the way it looks like in this stock is maybe it's not quite done going up yet. It looks like a pullback to the rising 20-day moving average. Now, the way I look at moving averages is potential levels of support. I don't like to buy as a stock touches, for instance, the 10-day moving average right there, although it would have worked. And I don't like to buy when it touches the 20-day moving average. To me, a moving average is just a... Uh, reference point. It's something to compare the price to and it tells us that here's an area where there's the potential for a change in short-term trend. Now the short-term trend clearly is lower as the stock has dropped from 29 down to 27. So now that it's in this area uh, where there's potential for support to be found, it tells me it's time to look at a shorter-term time frame. So let's take a look at the 30-minute time frame in this case. And in this 30-minute time frame, you can see that the stock it was trying to hold up above this 26 and a half level. So I think first of all, from a risk standpoint, your risk is if it drops below that 26 and a half level, then it might be headed lower. And you could make a case that it's actually tracing out a head and shoulders top on this time frame as well. But because the bigger picture is so bullish. I wouldn't look at that as as carefully, but I would say if it breaks below this level, you definitely want to take action and not be complacent in holding a winning stock like this. So how would I purchase the stock with a stop at 26 and a half? Well, first of all, let's look at the price target. I think that you know a stock in an uptrend makes higher highs and higher lows. So we could say let's let's just think that it doesn't make a higher high. Instead, let's say it makes it up to 29 and a half ties this old high. So that's about let's say $27 a share, two and a half dollars away. Would you buy the stock above $27 and a half to uh, make? potential of about two and a half dollars and risk about 50 cents. So that's kind of the way I would look at this stock is maybe you buy it above the $27 level, 27 and a quarter or so. One thing that does concern me is I would wait for this five day moving average to flatten out a bit before I bought it because this tells me the intermediate term trend, it might be in a little bit of trouble. So all in all, I wouldn't rate this a great trade, but I would something I would definitely keep an eye on over the next week or so to see if it can shape up a little bit better and give us a reason to enter. Otherwise, if I was already long the stock, I would think that this 26 and a half level is pretty uh, important as far as if it breaks down the height of this head and shoulders pattern, subtract the height of the pattern, which is three points from the, br the from the break of the neckline, that would give us a target down near 23 and a half, and that would bring it down towards here.